Now let me ask you this, long hair, short hair. I feel like there's this conundrum with stylists. Like, I feel like stylists always want to cut your long hair off. Mm -hmm. But is short hair ever really in style? Um, I think what's in style is what looks good on you. And that's something that never goes on, out of style. And I think that if your stylist is trying to talk you into something that you're not comfortable with, then you need a new stylist. <laughs> But sometimes the stylist can see things that you can't see, and you're so like, I'm so attached to this, I could never cut it off, and it may look fabulous. So when do you know mm -hmm. when to trust your stylist? Um, you just have to know that you can trust your stylist, I think, first and foremost. Um, but I think, I think that when you want something, or you don't know what you want, I think that it should be gradual. I think, okay, your stylist is saying cut your hair to here, and you're like, I want it here. Mm -hmm. Find a happy medium. You know, find pictures, do a lot of um, research, find, you know, pull out tear sheets from magazines, go online and search, you know, short haired, wavy haired, like, see how it looks wavy, see how it looks straight, F figure out what your natural texture is. You know, all of those things really go into consideration. What's the shape of your face? Are bangs going to make your chin stand out? Or are they going to make your nose stand out? You know, do you not want bangs? It's, you know, constantly ask yourself all of these questions before you do something that you're unsure about because, you know, then you cover all the bases of knowing what you're going to get and then you're more comfortable with allowing, you know, your stylist to do that. And, you know, if your stylist is, um, you know, capable of doing those things for you, then, you know, talk to him about it, or to him or her about it, and, you know, just really figure it out together. Now, are you a fan of maintaining... A, a, like, let's say you find a look that you love. Mm -hmm. um, are you a fan of sort of sticking with that? Mm -hmm. Like Anna Wintour. She's had the same haircut mm -hmm. since she was 10 years old. It's kind of her thing. Mm -hmm. Or are you a fan of changing it up? Well, if it ain't broke. Right. <laughs> I just think that if you look absolutely beautiful as a redhead and you want to try something what? absolutely beautiful. <laughs> And if you want to try something, um, you know, a little more fun, you know, go a half a shade darker or just lighten up your tips to get like a little bit of a sun-kissed look. Um, you know, there's w there are ways to stay the same and slightly tweak it to look modern. Almost like, Good point. you know, like w if you wear black liquid liner every day, switch it with like a, a navy or a shimmery liquid hunter green color. So you don't have to go all crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't so have to be cobalt blue eyes and a red lip and a coral right. cheek and then you have like ombre hair. It's like, just keep everything relaxed and fluid. Everything should look like it came from you, you know? Everything should look like the best version of you. So, just coming off of New York Fashion Week recently, I, I feel like that I'm seeing a lot of articles about, you know, the, the trends and how they, you know, New York Fashion Week seems to sort of kick off what you see on the runway and how that's transitioning out. For sure. Um, so, what are the hair trends for spring? I think um, we're seeing a lot of like a slick back, wet look, um, whether it's down. I'm really obsessed with um, a really slick back, tight, shiny ponytail because I think that it transitions from day to night really well. And it also gives you that kind of instant eye lift. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It looks, and it looks good and works <laughs> on everybody. Yeah. And I think that, you know, if you're in a rush, you could just tease the ponytail and wrap it around and stick a few pins in it and it turns into an evening bun and you put on a statement red lip and your gown and you're out the door. Love it. Low maintenance and you still look fabulous. Yeah. I like things that can transition, you know, on the go.